All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Darius top lane. We're running into a Trundle. And for the runes, we this time have Conquer, Triumph. We got Alacrity, Lascent. We also got Nimbus Cloak and also running Transcendence. This matchup is quite rare. I haven't seen anyone playing Trundle top in a very long time, but it is an extremely winnable matchup for Darius, just like most of the other matchups. It's like an auto-based matchup for Trundle. And Darius is very, very good into that, so we'll see how it's going to go. Interesting play by him. He's trying to cheese me early on. So I know what Trundle does. I play Trundle top myself, too. I've made plenty of videos about Trundle in the past as well. I know where the strength is coming from. Now, the difference is that I have Ignite. Or I don't Ignite, I have Ghost. So I can basically just out-kite him. He also has Ghost. But I have like an extra uh, flash, so nice. And now we go in. He used Q, so I'm gonna go in right now. Pretty good. So the idea in this matchup, the way how Trundle should be winning this, is by continuously auto attacking and queuing me, right? But with Darius, what you can do is you can drop the combo down, slow Trundle down and then you walk away so he never gets to auto queue you at all right and you also have a grab that helps you out so it's a complete mega winnable matchup for uh, for darius this guy does not stand a chance once again just darius once again proving that he is a insane top laner like i i've been running into so many matchups with darius that is just straight up winnable at the very start of the match darius is really good into into all inning early on most champions do not be darius they don't straight up all right we're gonna go for this so with darius there are two builds that i really like um the main build, we just like the meta build, the build that everyone's going for is actually Stridebreaker and then into Steric Gauge and then into uh, Demon's Blade. Now this game, we are going to go for Trinity Force. I want to showcase you guys why Trinity Force is really good. Trinity Force is the second build that is uh, insanely strong. So not Stridebreaker, but Trinity as first item. Trinity gives you insane 1v1 potential. It makes you super strong. Uh, for split pushing as well. And let's keep it like this. Wow. Did that really not connect? I could have hit like a W cube, would have been even better. But it's okay. He's gonna walk up there. The fun thing is that Trundle is. Like, this lane is already over for him. He doesn't win. Walk away, wait for the combo, and then we re-engage. Oh, well played. My strength will prevail. Well played by Trundle. He's done a perfect E placement. But he's going to die right now. Yep. Appreciate my jungler giving that kill to me. And the wave is getting under tower, so we're good to go. The first thing we do is we are building specifically into this item. This item is extremely important if you're going for Chindi Force. Reason why is because it provides movement speed when you're actually trading your opponent, which means that you can actually position better, you can chase better, you can run better. Um, as long as, uh, you know, you're fighting your opponent. So, um, that's something that Darius is, really needs. Movement speed is the most important thing on this champ. Then afterwards, you, if you like, you can go for Sheen for short trades, but you can also go for Hop on X, which is what I always recommend. Now, the wave is pushing in my direction. Insanely good, because I'm actually having a lead against him right now. I should have connected W immediately. Don't 
Okay, we hard shot this out. And we're good to go. Let's see how many plates I can actually get. Wait. Hold up. Yep. He's also dead. So I got him too. And the wave's also pushing slowly my, into my direction. This battle belongs to the I don't know if I'm going to make it back top in time. We're about to find out. So it seems like they got the Drake. That's interesting. Quite unfortunate because we had Shaco around top lane, but whatever. Turns out it's going to be an 80 version of Shaco. I haven't seen anyone going 80 Shaco in a while. Interesting. Most of the Shaco players these days are going AP. And let's keep it like this. If we slow push like this, Trundle stands no chance, right? Um, that's because the wave is too massive. And on top of that, if Shaco comes around the corner, then I should be okay too, because it's I'm still like around the right side of my lane. And Shaco's in mid currently. Yeah, let's guess that. Yep. I was thinking about just moving forward, saving ult, but nah. Because I would have to press my ghost to make that work. There could be a Shaco uh, appearing top lane. Nope, never mind. He's actually in bot lane. Didn't even see that. Didn't see that correct. And we're getting multiple plates. We got Trendy now. Just need a back. Yep. Oh, this guy's coming for AoE so he can shove out lanes faster. Wait a second. Yeah, I still go for the back because I need Trendy. The next item that we're going to go for. Um, with Trinity, usually I really like going for Sterex Gage. Sterex Gage is fantastic this game. I think it's with a team comp. It is super optimal. I'm probably going to consider that, to be honest. Uh, Deadman's Plate is also extremely good, but I think I might do that for, as a third item. And, uh, we go Sterex Gage now. I think that Sterex Gage in this game is better to go for than Deadman's Plate would be. Warwick is about to die. Yeah. Maybe we're lucky and Trundle's gonna walk through here, but it's very unlikely. I don't think so. No, we have to pay attention because we're in a one versus two. Hmm. Oh, there's apparently more people involved. Okay. On oh, goodbye. Nice. In fact, we're alive and my teammates are getting catches. Okay. Incredible. Let's go with steel caps. We need like a little bit more for it though. So we're gonna start building into nice. Okay, let's go back top lane. So apparently like there were like three people chasing me down, including uh their ult. 
They have some pretty annoying champions in their team comp. I am not happy to play against Shaco in general. I don't like to play against it. I don't consider Shaco to be an OP champ or anything. I just find it to be very frustrating to play against it. Like anything that can go invisible is not fun to play against. Because um, like Twitch, you know, Eve, Shaco, all those champions have insane 1v9 uh, uh, potential. It's really annoying to play against, but I always see all these three champions always pop off all the time. I never, almost never see a Shaco feed. It's it's very rare. I see most Shaco players going 10 and 0 every single game. Well, that is if they play in the enemy team. If they play in my team, they're 0 10, of course, but um, in the enemy team, Shaco is always 10 and 0. Let's see if this game is going to be the same. Who knows? Enemy killing Only in my team does Shaco score 0 10. I'm not a savior. I'm an executioner. I don't want to flash for him, but. Should be enough. Yeah. Dominating. The weak will feed the strong. Very good. The tower is down too. I think that Shaco is going to go top. Amazing. Okay. We nearly have the Stark Gauge. We can buy steel caps right now. Amazing. And let's go. Steel caps is fantastic this game. I unfortunately do not have ghosts. I want to go bot lane and uh, beat them all, but I don't know. I have no ult, I have no ghost. Let's find out what happens. Uh, he probably went this way. Yep. Wasn't that hard to figure out because I think it was very obvious. I just realized that they have two cha uh, two champions that can have two different ones, like Shaco and also uh, and also Nico. Thank you very much. Let's go back top lane. Knows the scent of fear. I will pick this up so that Shaco has no chance. Because Shaco is obviously looking for me if I remain that low health. I picked up the fake one. Nah, I, I don't care about that plan. So let's go back top lane. We're going to shove this out really far. And Sterk's Cage it is. Now after the Sterk's Cage, we are going for Deadman's Blade because of course that provides armor. It provides movement speed. It provides everything we would need in this game. Now of course they do have Nico and mid, but again, like Nico can only do so much, right? They only have one AP in their team comp, so I'm all right. Mm, up. Let's go. I think they're here. Nah, they're not actually. Shaco's playing more on Bali now. The world will embrace chaos. He's got it. You ready? Yeah. Figured out. And back in the jungle. Let's see if we can steal a little bit. Whoops. Hmm. 
next. I hope I can also get this one. <laughs> Their whole jungle goes down. I'm only getting more value and more value over time. If it's not kills, it's like stealing jungle camps. The dragon will spawn at 120, so I can't stay top for too long. Oh, nice, as he's down. Got him. Next. Okay, we have a problem. We have no problem. We have no problems at all. Zero problems. Nothing, nothing, no issues at all. Just a free Shaco delivery. <laughs> and we go bot lane. So top lane is pretty much done. Uh, we can go mid or bot lane right now and uh, do whatever we want. We can also pick this up and then go Drake after. We can do plenty of things. The whole map is for me here. Rulers are complacent, soft, and the wolves I wonder if I could maybe like beat up the, the Nico. I don't know if he's gonna walk around the corner here, but unbelievable. Wow, the CC is annoying. Serious? Wow. I was trying to get the ultimate out. Whatever. Yeah, not sure. <laughs> not happening today, bro. Legendary. Not happening today. That trundle is not getting me. I will not give my shutdown away. Would appreciate it if I could get more jungle camps though. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to first be a Shaco here. So I'm going to run for my life. Run as fast as I can. Pretty sure most of them are topside at this point. Whoops. Accidentally cancelled my auto tank. And we've got my item. Uh, next thing we do is... Um, we are going for... The thing with this game is you can build anything at this point. As uh, weird as that sounds. Whatever you want. Like, we can go Sonder Sky, Thormill, Spirit Visage, Force of Nature. We can do anything at this point. Because they, they have a, a, a team comp. With mostly AD, I would say. So Thormill would be uh, the probably most optimal. If not, it's Sonder Sky. Sonder Sky is good against all of them. It uh, provides me HP, which is always nice and always appreciated, right? Gives me the damage, gives me the effect. These I am Shut down. Hmm. There's no Nico to be found here. He can probably see me though. This MF is about to, uh, to die. We got her. There's no way to go. Hmm. Never mind, I guess. They do get away. They were slightly faster than I thought. Red Puff is also about to appear. I really want to consider going for Baron, but we need to kill Shaco first. Shaco can steal very easily, so.
They'll very likely group in mid. Yep, he's taking this ward down. This is easy, bro. Yeah. Worst ultimate on the planet. Worst ultimate on the planet. Let's uh, go ahead and just do it. I don't even think we need jungle, man. I don't even think so. Freedom, anarchy, we just need wards. Will. We'll see if they walk up. Well, we will obviously go in them. Like, Darius is also good at, like, taking Baron. As you can see. Yep. And let's go again. Uh, Baron this time around. Next objective is Dragon. And that's it. Just need my teammates to pressure the map right now. I like how Chondal's going for Hydra. That's exactly my build when I play Chondal. Interesting. That's exactly what I'm going for. I, I, I'm sometimes I'm curious. Like I'm playing Chondal Top for a video sometimes. I wonder if this guy came up with the idea uh, from watching my video. Sometimes I wonder because he's he's in fact he's going with the same build that I do. Same runes, same build. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was Lulu. My bad. Yeah, I've got it already. That dragon is pretty much ours. Oh, he's baiting. It's not actually Trundle. It's, uh, it's Nico. Yep, figured out. My teammate fell for it though. There will be a team fight. Hmm. Night vision. Well. Uh, never mind. I was thinking about flashing, but I'm glad I didn't. Figured out it was, uh, of course, the fake one again. Why would he do that on me, though? Why would he? Why would he walk into me, bro? Go feed the kill to someone else, not to a super fat Darius. Like what? Why'd you want this? Goodbye, bro. Sure. And one more wave and I'm more than happy. I'm I'm actually able to buy Sunder Sky right now. Yes, let's go back. The last item that I buy will of course be Dormill. I need to I need to buy Dormill. Without a doubt. Because they have too much AD. Like, this guy's full AD, this guy's full AD, this guy's full AD. Uh, we need to have armor, bro. Very important. I 
Okay, let's go. There's a Shaco in the back with me. Well, we can just go mid and take tower. I should have ulted. Ah. I should have ulted Lulu immediately. Because I'm, I could then, uh, uh, yeah, I could beat her up, then get my, uh, get my stacks ready for the next one, and then ult again. I was thinking I needed like one more W, but of course not. It's, it's actually Lulu. She would have died. I'm just waiting for Dormel right now. <laughs> that item is gonna make the difference. Find freedom in the carnage. Thank you. Where will I put all these? He wants that breath off that badly. Well, maybe about two more jungle camps if we got it. The Baron lost spawn in 15. So it's a good preparation now. One more jungle camp. Yep. And we officially got it. the fake one. Hmm. Well, that's all we can get. They're running off. No, I do. I hit the wrong person. It's not okay. At the wrong person. That could have been such a crazy fight, bro. Not kidding. This is a barren call. We have enough damage. Trust me on it. Well, there should be a Baron Call. Shaco's still spawning. I don't seem to realize it. No. Not a Baron we've done without the Chunga, by the way. Okay. Look how massive we are. A uh, very quick question. If you are new to the game, how do you know which item to build in the mid late game? That's something that comes with uh, experience in a different variety of ways. Like, you need to know precisely what every item does. You need to know exactly what champions you're up against. And you need to know what your champion does. It takes time. But the most important thing is that you know what the items do. And you know precisely what to build on the champion you're playing. If you can get that down, like, everything else becomes easier. The champion that you're playing does not build, like, 50 different items. It's typically only a couple uh, different items. Come on, bro. I was about to ult. Your 
Yeah, this game will be over soon. Hmm, it's about doing a really good grab. Maybe not even have to because Wave's already finishing it. Yeah, this game is over. Hmm. Yep, this game is over. Hey, this is the Irish top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Dare's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.